Hi, I'm Abby, the Repair Shop Manager at KBI, and today I'll be answering a question asked by one of our followers, William Alexander. Um, this question was, how do you repair a sticky valve? Um, so before I go on, first I want to say if you have questions while I'm doing this video, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, or if you also have questions about other topics or about repair about instruments, go ahead and leave those as well. And I will answer them in future videos. Um, so when you're dealing with a sticky valve, the first thing you have to do is determine what the cause of the stickiness is. Um, so this can be caused by a variety of things. It can be caused by dirt, dents, um, something that's not round anymore, um, a valve guide that's beat up, missing, or misaligned. Um, something could be bent. Um, maybe it's along with the dirt part. Something was used other than valve oil in the instrument, causing your, your valve to move very slowly. Um, and even possibly like a missing or weak um, spring. Although usually the spring is actually one of the least common problem with um, valve issues. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of different reasons why a valve might be sticking. Um, so I always recommend starting with assuming your valves are dirty. So there's a couple ways you can clean your valves. You can give it uh, for a brass instrument, you can give it a bath. Most brass players know how to do that. Give it a bath, wipe it out with the, um, the casing brush, give it a good clean, let it dry, and then oil it up and see if that worked. Always check too, um, after you've cleaned it out, look down through the casing to see if there's any debris in there left over after you've cleaned, um, or if there's a lot of buildup. Um, I have some pictures here. You can see some buildup in the valve, especially anything that's the color green. Um, you'll definitely need to take that into a repair shop to get that out because um, there are some, let's say, chemicals that can be used to remove that stuff that you wouldn't be able to use at home. It's not safe. Um, so once you've either had your instrument cleaned, if you're already out of repair shop, they'll probably fix whatever your sticky valve problem is. Um, but if you cleaned it yourself, you think it looks good, then the next thing you're going to want to do is inspect your valves, um, inspect them individually, and then you can compare them to each other to see if they are consistent all the way across the board. So here's a few questions you can ask yourself. First question is, do all your valve guides face the same way? Um, it's really easy um, for your valve guide to become misaligned in the spring barrel or they can get upside down or sometimes your valve falls apart and you put it back together and come and find out it wasn't put together exactly right again. Um, so check that. Um, is Does your valve guide, all of them, do all they each have the same amount of wear? So you might find that you have one valve guide that's newer than the other one. So compare the other ones to that new one. If the ones in this picture, the first one, there's they're plastic and metal together. So the metal tab is starting to pull away from the plastic. Once this starts happening, then the valve doesn't stay moving straight up and down in the casing and it can get caught or stuck. Um, in the second one, the uh, plastic has been worn back and there's actually a little extra piece of plastic or debris kind of stuck to the front of it, which can keep the, or get let the valve get hung up. Um, and the third one is actually a brand new valve, so it helps you see the difference between the three of them. Um, any of these things could cause an issue, and on like a trumpet valve, sometimes they get, on either side of it, they can get little notches worn into the valve guide from moving up and down in the spring barrel. Um, another important thing to ask yourself is, are all the pieces of your valve present and are they attached correctly? So in the pictures here, you'll see that a trumpet has a valve guide that's supposed to be inside the spring barrel with the spring on top of the valve guide and it's all held in by the valve stem. So make sure all those things are assembled correctly and everything that screws together is nice and tight. On a low brass instrument, the valve guide is held on by a washer and the valve stem. So make sure the valve guide is, um, the, is aligned correctly as well. In a lot of the low brass valves, the um, it has two holes in the top. It'll have one hole that is for a vent, which usually is larger than the other one, um, but sometimes they're the same high, size. So the vent hole um, 
is usually either like opposite the valve number so that when you put the valve guide on it, the you'll be able to see the number and part or if not all of the valve, um, if not all of the vent hole. And then the there's a little nub in the valve guide that should sit in the little hole on the valve. And that way you'll know if it's aligned correctly. So if you find a problem with your valve guide or your valve setup, you might be able to fix it yourself if you can figure out the way it's supposed to be assembled. Um, if the valve guide is broken or missing, you will probably need to get a replacement, otherwise your valve won't work correctly. Um, and you can get those from an online supplier or a music store. Um, personally, I suggest going to the music store because the people there will know which one you need for your brand of instrument. And they can also test it to make sure it's working correctly. So the last question um, for your valves is, are there any bright spots, missing or flaking plating, any chips or dents on the main surface of your valve? Um, if so, you can probably you can feel around it and usually that helps you feel whether it's still a smooth circle or if there's something else on it. Um, anything like that could also be causing your valve to hang up. Um, and if this is so, you'll definitely need to go to a repair shop for this repair. Um, there's nothing really you can do to make it any better. So um, conveniently, KBI Music Shop has an in-house repair shop, as you can see right here, and yours truly can fix it or one of our other two repair techs. If after inspecting your valves, your valves seem fine and your valve guides are set up correctly, you can look at the casing on the actual instrument. Um, check the outside. Are there any dents on the outside? Um, dents can be really tiny or they can be really obvious, really big. Um, check those. See um, if you can look inside the casing and see the dent coming through, or you might even be able to stick your finger in it and kind of feel for it. Um, that can, even really, really tiny ones can cause um, a hang up in your valve. Um, then look at the bottom. Take your bottom caps off and look at the threads. Um, if any of those threads are dented in in any way, that can stop the valve from moving up and down the way it's supposed to as well. Um, as you can see in this picture, never ever try to straighten those valves with pliers. Um, it'll blow them out. You won't be able to get the bottom cap back on. It definitely won't be a circle anymore and your valve probably will work worse than it did before. So again, if you have any issues with the valve casing, you will need to go to the local music store to get that repaired. So if you tried all these things and you still can't determine the problem with your valve, um, bring it to the music store. <laughs> the more elusive your problem is, the more damage you can cause your instrument by attempting to fix it. So as you can see, there's a lot of factors involved with fixing a valve. Um, so if you feel nervous about doing anything yourself um, and you, or you can't figure out what's wrong with it, we would love to help you here at KBI. Come on by anytime. Um, again, feel free to leave any questions you might have in the comments below. Um, I'll be doing more Ask Abby videos periodically on the Backstage Pass.